We're slicing lemons. Lemon peels. Dried lemon peels. Delicious dried lemon peels. They go in all the teas. Medicinal teas don't always taste delicious. Medicine isn't delicious. Lemons, lemons are delicious. Here's what you do. You make sure as you're whipping up these tea recipes, you want them to taste good. Every lemon I use, I slice dry and slice the peels. Lemon peels. Lemon peels and all your cheese. Dried lemon peels are so delicious and so healthy and so flavorful. When you dry these lemon peels and add them to medicinal tea that as a rule on its own would just taste like medicine, it changes the game and it adds more healing power vitamin C rose hips and lemon peels are going in all and every tea that I make that's medicinal that is really just not so flavorful by itself and you know making lemonade is one way to stay healthy and, pres and have lemon peels for preserving. Millions of reasons you would be using lemons, but always try and remember, do not toss them out the next time you're having a salad and your fish or whatever you're having and you've got your lemon and you enjoy the lemon and then off the peels going to the compost. No, no, give this a try. It's not difficult. I literally just made lemonade yesterday and I made a lot of it. So I, you know, whipped up some lemons with my little handy dandy and, you know, I'm always, look at how low I'm running on my lemons. I put this, everything, it's dried lemon peels. Um, I literally just left this sit. I took the fresh ones, as I was saying before, I prefer to, to remove the white membrane when it's, when it's fresh. So I did take plenty of time to do all of that yesterday. That's what we're seeing here in this mess. Uh, all dried. It's dried. Okay, it's, it's overnight, all right? Depending on the temperature of your home and all of the rest that's going on, I'm, I probably can tell in a camper. Um, overnight, it's about, it was about 70 degrees yesterday and today and last night it dropped maybe 10, 20 degrees. I don't know. It's been comfortable and so overnight. There are different occasions where you've got moisture content in the home. You gotta think about that stuff however long it may take. The ideal test is, does it snap? Like these here from last night, you see I'm struggling to get a snap. They're not dry enough to put into that jar. If I were to put these, they're a bit, I mean, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't call them damp in any way, but they're pliable, which means they're not dry. So, um, putting them in the jar in this condition is, you're going to get a mess. You're going to have a moldy jar full of useless compost. It's not useless. <laughs> Well, we don't like mold. All right, so, but see here, this is the, this is what I've had in my jar. It's dry and you know it is because you just heard, I am always talking. You heard the snap here, watch. Snapping, that's dry and safe to go into a jar. Yesterday's slice is not dry. Probably by tomorrow. I have dehydrators that stack to the ceiling. Millions of dehydrators. And we could really make a production of this. And have. And it's recommended. Because the world needs lemon peels, if you ask me. And that's the thing that I like to do. Uh, the simple solutions are this. Don't throw away your lemon peels. Just, it's okay to have them everywhere, but it's okay to have a paper towel full of lemon peels overnight, to, you know, and put them up in the jar the day after. You got a spot for your little, next to your front window sill is okay. As a rule, herbs and certain different things that, you know, sunlight is an issue. It will go ahead and diminish a bit of the potency of things. A couple days in the window sill with the lemon peels. Brilliant idea. If you ask me, suck them in a jar and get them in your teas. It's delicious.
it's actually therapeutic. It's therapeutic to just open the jar and take a whiff. I want you to smell this, and you will when your jar is full. Let me know how it works out. 